Hi, do you want to get your team to be more creative? Do you want to build a culture that features creativity, innovation, and openness to changes? If yes, this video is for you. Hi, my name is Dixon, and today in this video, I'm going to share with you three specific strategies that you can use to build creative culture through play. Now, why understanding this is important? Because in the traditional background, playing is only for kids and children. But in the future of work, because the future is increasingly disruptive, increasingly uncertain, incorporating playing into your culture actually is good for your organization and good for your team because your team members will be able to be more flexible. They will be able to come up with new idea more easily. So what are the three specific strategy that you can use to build creative culture through play? Let me share with you one by one. Strategy number one is to embrace this playing is good culture. Playing is good culture. So what does that mean? Um, a lot of time in the workplace environment when people talk about the word playing, right? playing it is often negative Actively associate with a laziness, unfocused behavior, um, being not serious. So is there's a lot of negative association with play. But actually, if you want to get your team prepared for the future, right, you got to get them play because by playing, you will be able to have this new mindset of oh why not? You will have this new mindset of. Why don't we do things in a new way? So this is uh, one of the key things is to embrace play is good culture. Um, in my book, uh, Leadership for Future of Work, Nine Ways to Build Career Edge Over Robots with Human Creativity, I actually have one chapter, I deep dive into this, like play is serious, play is good. And one of the company I mentioned here is called Mano. Uh, innovation. Okay, so the founder of this company actually put this uh, playing and fun right, part of this organizational value, organization culture. That means he makes sure that the work environment is joyful, is fun, is playful. Right? So something for you to consider. Embrace playing is good mindset. So what's the second tip? The second tip or the second strategy is what I call build play infrastructure, build play infrastructure. So what does that mean? That means look at your workplace environment and see if you can um, create an infrastructure so that your team members can relax, chill out and come up with some creative ideas. So for example, I look at your workplace, see if you can set up a particular corner, like, like maybe set up a toys corner, you stuff with some toys so that the staff can play or you set up a corner in which the staff can relax, can chill out, can uh, discuss some creative ideas. Uh, so for example, um, you can set up this corner with some toys. Uh, toys is not just for kids, toys are for working professionals as well. Right? So let me repeat, toys are not just for kids, toys are for working professionals as well because by playing, you will be able to generate new ideas. So you can stuff some toys at the corner with some material like a Play-Doh so that they can uh, play around it. Uh, you can have some games like Monopoly. Uh, you can have some Lego box so that they can play around with it. Um, you can uh, put some action figures so that they can relax as well. So this is the second strategy. Right? create a play infrastructure. So what's the third strategy? The third strategy is get the team to play with ideas. Get the team to play with ideas. So what does that mean? Uh, that means you need to gather your teams on a regular basis and make sure that they spend some time to generate some creative ideas. So for example, right, in SERP, one of the product design company in California in the States. They actually gather their staff every Friday. They have this like SERP 15 initiative. So what does that mean? That means every Friday, 
afternoon they will gather their staff for 15 minutes the teams need to uh, put down the, the work they need to gather together and solve a particular problem it could be a creative quiz could be a design competition could be a problem solving exercise so basically in this 15 minutes the team need to come up with creative idea so that 15 minutes is actually an exercise for their creative brain so that's the third strategy so to summarize what are the three strategy that you can use to build creative culture through play number one embrace play is good mindset number two build play infrastructure and set up a toys corner in your workplace number three get your team member to play with ideas get them to play with ideas i hope this video sharing is something useful to you and if you like this video make sure that you click the subscribe or the follow button and also make sure you share the content with your friends and colleagues once again this is dixon and make sure that we work together build creative culture through play be playful cheers